You've probably heard and seen lots of information about the upcoming Pixar Pier. There are lots of details and new announcements every minute, so FastPass Facts and Disney Examiner are here to gather all of that information and create the ultimate guide to Pixar Pier and the newly debuted Pixar Fest. Goodbye Paradise Pier and Hello Pixar Pier! This summer, we welcome Pixar Pier, and since it was announced on D23 Expo last year, there has been some divided opinions about it. Some people think this idea is terrible and that it will lead to the disappearance of all original attractions, while others think that bringing more IP attractions to the parks is the future and the way to go. We should remember that one of the problems that California Adventure had when it was first opened was its poor theming and generic attractions that resulted in bad reviews and angry guests. But ever since 2007, when the renovation and expansion were announced, California Adventure has become one of guests' favorite Disney parks, thanks to some powerful franchises that came into the park with this renovations. So obviously, this past success in bringing powerful franchises into the park led Imagineers to make Pixar's role in California Adventure even bigger than it now is, by giving us Pixar Pier. Pixar Pier is going to include four new neighborhoods that will be themed to different Pixar movies. These neighborhoods are The Incredibles Neighborhood. This all-new neighborhood will have a 1950s look and feel to it. In it, we will find a special character meet and greet with the amazing fashion icon Edna Mode. This is actually the first time this character has been available for a meet and greet in all Disney parks. But Edna is not only here to give fashion advice to guests around this neighborhood, yep, Edna is babysitting Jack-Jack, but she's not a very good babysitter, so he decides to escape. And that brings us to the Incredicoaster. California Screamin' is being completely rethemed so it can host this incredible family and their quest to catch Jack-Jack. First, we can see Dash having a little bit of trouble with some lasers while trying to catch Jack-Jack. He doesn't succeed, so now it's Elastigirl's turn. An incredible 40-foot Mrs. Incredible tries to catch her son by stretching through the coaster's tunnels, but sadly, she isn't able to do it either. Next, Mr. Incredible is here to save the day, and the only power he shows is the power of cookies. So it's up to Violet now, and frankly, it looks like she's going to make it with that awesome force field. But sadly, that's not the case either. Another concept art shows Jack-Jack appearing and disappearing in what looks like the Bunny Hill section of the ride. It hasn't been revealed how or if Jack-Jack is ever captured, but we're pretty sure that we're going to see how everything turns out in this new closed-off section we can see here. Also, the new queue area will be rethemed to reflect the modern House of the Incredibles, and check out this new designs for the trains. Toy Story Neighborhood our next stop is Toy Story Neighborhood, which has, as its principal attraction, an old favorite known as Midway Mania. But as we can see in this concept art, it may be changed to Toy Story Mania. The ride itself will not be changed at all, so we can all relax. Also, we'll find King Triton's carousel completely transformed into Jesse's Critter Carousel. This concept art shows a giant Jesse in front of the carousel that features every critter in Woody's Roundup. Maybe Bullseye should have been included too. This neighborhood will also feature two themed stands like Senor Buzz Churros. This stand shows Spanish Buzz eating a churro in a very strange manner. And also Poultry Palace based on the small fry short. This concept art shows a type of giant fun meal where we will be able to purchase some famous turkey legs and other delicious things that haven't been revealed yet. Inside Out Neighborhood Next comes the Inside Out Neighborhood. Not much has been said of it, but a new attraction has been confirmed. There isn't much info on it, but as we can see in this concept art, this new family-friendly attraction will be where the Mally Boomer used to be. It shows lots of memory orbs surrounding it, and it kind of looks like a Flick Flyers type of attraction. We're also going to get another Pixar-themed stand. It will be called Angry Dogs, and it will sell, you guessed it, hot dogs. Pixar Promenade The last neighborhood is Pixar Promenade. Here we will find what was formerly known as Mickey's Fun Wheel, which will now be called Pixar Pal Around. But don't worry, Mickey will still be featured on the giant wheel. 
The only change that's coming aside from the name will be the gondolas, which will now feature different pairs of Pixar pals, including Joy and Sadness from Inside Out, Lightning McQueen and Mater from Cars, and Miguel and Hector from Coco. Also, the games from the boardwalk will be rethemed. Dumbo's Bucket Brigade will be changed to Wally Space Spin. Goofy About Fishing will be changed to Luna Starcatcher, and Casey at the Bat will be changed to Heimlet Candy Corn Toss. Bullseye Stallion Stampede will remain the same. The rest of the existing Paradise Pier will become newly renamed Paradise Park, which includes Paradise Gardens, Goofy's Sky School, The Little Mermaid Ride, Jumping Jellyfish, Silly Symphony Swings, and The Golden Zephyr. Another big change that's coming is the closing of the Cove Bar and Ariel's Grotto. They will both become the Lamplight Lounge, which will offer delicious cocktails, and don't worry, lobster nachos will be available too. The coolest thing about the Lamplight Lounge is that it will celebrate the artists and storytellers behind your favorite Pixar films. Think of it as a place where Pixar animators come after a hard day of work. Another cool stand that we'll find is the new retheming of the Paradise Pier Ice Cream Company. This will become the adorable Snowman Frosted Treats. This stand will still sell ice cream, but their new signature soft serve will be the Lemon Dole Whip. And remember this guy? Well, Luxo Jr. will also be part of the new Pixar Pier. That's right, he will be at the entrance welcoming guests to the new Pixar Pier. Sadly, Luxo Jr. will not be able to join us for Pixar Pier's debut, but we're sure he'll come over right after. Pixar Pier is opening on June 23rd, 2018, and to celebrate its opening, Disney came up with Pixar Fest, which started on April 13th and will be going on until September 3rd of this year. Pixar Fest is as awesome as it sounds. It is not only being held in California Adventure, but Disneyland too. This special fest will celebrate every Pixar character there is. Let's take a look at everything that's coming during Pixar Fest. Let's start with Disneyland. Together Forever Fireworks. This all new fireworks show is amazing. It can be seen from many locations like Main Street USA, Sleeping Beauty Castle, the Matterhorn, Rivers of America, or Small World. It opens with Buzz flying above Sleeping Beauty Castle and continues with projections and music together with the fireworks and other special effects. We also get to see our favorite balloon-powered house from Up flying overhead, and 10 dancers from Coco dancing on Main Street rooftops. The show's theme is friendship, and we get to see scenes from Pixar classics like Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., and Cars, and more recent releases such as Coco and the soon-to-be-released Incredibles 2. Pixar Play Parade Pixar Play Parade is coming to Disneyland. This parade will bring back some old favorites like the Toy Story, Incredibles, and Bugs Life floats, but this time we'll get some new floats too. The parade is being led by none other than Luxo Jr., followed by Joy, Sadness, and Bing Bong in Riley's rocket wagon from Inside Out. And also, keep your eyes open because Carl, Russell, Doug, Kevin, and her babies also join the parade. Even Carl's house makes an appearance. Pizza Planet During Pixar Fest, Red Rocket Pizza Port is being transformed into Pizza Planet. The transformation is temporal, so we only get to see a small re-theming of the area and not a complete transformation. We can see our favorite aliens taking over the place with signs, posters, and decorations. But the best part is the cheeseburger pizza that they brought with them. Let's go over to California Adventure now. Paint the Night is back. This amazing nighttime parade is coming back, and for the first time, we'll get to enjoy it at California Adventure. Of course, it also brings back some old favorites like Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., and our favorite princesses. But this time, there's a new special float. The Incredibles are coming to paint the night where Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, and Frozone take on their latest adversary while Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack reveal surprising new powers. This float is not going to be available until the movie's opening, but we can get a pretty good idea of how it looks thanks to this concept art. Pixar Short Festival. Let's head over to Hollywoodland where the Sunset Showcase Theater is having the Pixar Short Festival. From April 13th through May 6th, 
grab some 3D glasses and watch for the birds, lava, and piper. And then starting July 6th, all the way through September 9th, watch Knickknack, La Luna, and Sanjay Super Team. And now, let's go to Paradise Gardens where we'll find Pixar Pals, where we'll get to have meet and greets with Mike and Sully, Woody and Buzz Lightyear, Russell and Doug, Flick and Ada, and Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. And check out the live music, where Triple Dent Gum will be presenting the seven-piece Pixar Monic Orchestra. The band will be using cowbells, kazoos, whistles, duck calls, and other offbeat instruments to play songs from Pixar movies. With this special fest also come limited time themed foods, beverages, and merchandise. What do you guys think? Are you excited for Pixar Pier? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you would like to talk to us about this or any other Disney theme, join our Discord server. And don't forget to add your suggestions. We'll leave an invite in the description.